Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy from Eidos Montreal and Square Enix puts players in charge of Marvel's biggest and most notorious galactic misfits. As Star-Lord, you're tasked with maintaining some semblance of unity while also making sure nobody accidentally, or intentionally, blows their own butts off while getting the job, whatever it might be, done. This is reinforced through narrative flashpoints where Star-Lord has to make the call on what to do, which not everyone in your ragtag crew will agree with, but also through combat where you as Star-Lord essentially dictate various actions to Drax, Gamora, Rocket, and of course, Groot. That means things get hectic fast. Between enemies, environmental odds and ends like explosive barrels, Star-Lord's abilities, the Guardian's abilities, and positioning, there's a lot going on. If you're not careful, you'll quickly find yourself behind enemy lines and in over your head. Thankfully, there are ways to turn the pace down a bit. Scrolling through various abilities to use with Star-Lord or one of the other Guardians slows time slightly, allowing for a bit more tactical thinking. And then there's Huddles, an ability that charges over time based on your actions and combat that allows Star-Lord to call in the rest of the squad for a pep talk while time is frozen. Depending on how much you pump up the Guardians, you can come out with some serious firepower set to rocking tunes in the aftermath. Between missions, the Milano is home, and like any home, it's filled with the detritus of life. For Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, that means references, easter eggs, and opportunities to have conversations. The density on the ship is wild, and ranges from a Dazzler poster on the wall of Star-Lord's bedroom to an entire conversation tree with Rocket about his creation in Half-World. We were only able to play Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy for roughly an hour and a half, and just the one level. But if the rest of the game is anything like what we've seen, it would seem that the developers have a good grasp on what makes the crew tick, and also, what makes them boom. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is set to release for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch via the cloud on October 26th. For ComicBook.com, I'm Roland Bishop, but also, I am Groot.